Oz here. Thank you for being here. Now, one thing I want to start off with. I want to invite you to check out the 50 questions video that I did for the great folks at Global Excel Summit. That was a lot of fun to do. I'm going to show you something today that is an interesting solution that I've been looking for for quite a while. But I want to show it to you first, and then I'm going to give you some thinking time before we truly dive into it. We've got this grid of data, and over in C2, I can put in a number. Let's put in 33, and I get Trish. 42, Naomi. If I put 58, I get a red sad face. 17, Willis. Now I'm gonna give you some thinking time to review this and get some thoughts about how you would approach this. I am going to show you how to do this, but let me share this first. I tried various things to figure out how I could put a code in and then retrieve the value that's next to that code. This is easy if you have just two columns, the IDs next to the names. Out of the box, X lookup, easy. But now this is in a grid. How do we get at this? I looked for answers. I even asked uh, Bing's AI and I got a wild formula. I went on forums, I did searches and I found wild formulas. They would work, but I also had to work to figure out how the hell those things worked. Then I started thinking, sometimes it is okay to do something in several steps, even though it might seem ultimately more exotic than a single wild formula, but it's understandable. That's the important part for me. Okay, so how am I doing this? Let's go right here. 17. I'm going to drag this down and then I'm going to drag this down. Okay. And then actually I am going to use something different. I'm going to use 10. Next, an intermediate step. I'm going to go right here. Equals to call. Double click it. I'm going to grab all of that and enter. Okay. And then I'm going to drag this over. Okay. Now I've got room. Double click it. Now equals X lookup. Double click. Look up what? Look up 10 comma lookup array is going to be this dynamic array. And I need the hashtag to grab that whole array. Comma, I want to return that same thing. E7 hashtag, and then 
close parentheses and enter. Right. 10 brings me back 10. 27 brings me back 27. But here, got to go a little further. Offset. Open parentheses. Then go to the end. Comma. One. Comma. Zero. Close parentheses. Enter. There we go. 19. Great. 31. Pete. So then we can go further and deal with this, but that is the heart of the problem. We got it solved with an intermediate step and not some monster formula. Let's go further. Go back to the name. Wrap it in if error. Open parentheses. There's the value, comma, double quote, Windows key, period. I want the disappointed face, double quote, and close parentheses, and enter. All right, so then I choose a number like 100, enter. Now I'll get the sad face. But now what do I have to do? I'm going to grab this, copy that disappointed face, and then go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. Okay equal to and then control V there you go I'm a custom format and then I'm gonna go to font well fill I want no color for fill font let's do bold and let's grab this red okay and then okay and now I'm gonna center this now 15 I got a sad face. 28, red. 18 is a dentist. And there you go. Sometimes you can use some big flamboyant formula. Other times you can simplify, take a few small steps and get the same result.